welcome back to my channel this is going to be super exciting video well I hope you're gonna be as much excited as I am because this handbag is a handbag that I always always wanted and I'm talking about years and years and years and years ago but I couldn't really afford it and now they don't produce this handbag anymore and yes it is a Chanel handbag and I bought it pre-owned and like I mentioned earlier, I always wanted this handbag, but I was on and off looking on the different, you know, pre-owned websites, fashion file, you know, Reebok, not really real, real, but you know, Yugi's Closet, there's so many different ones, of course, the Facebook, um, you know, that I was looking to buy pre-owned, but everywhere I look for this handbag, it was looking very sad. It was very tired looking handbag and it, and the price was still like crazy high for the poor condition so you guys know me when i sell the handbags when you buy buy handbags from me it's always in excellent condition i do take care of my handbags you know and when i buy it from someone i also want them to be in excellent condition so I'm not gonna hold it any further let me just show you my brand new, new to me, Chanel handbag. Ta-da! <laughs> so you guys, this is the Chanel Surf Tote. So like I mentioned earlier, they don't make this anymore. There is another version of this tote called Executive Tote, which if you remember, I purchased few years ago from Fashion File and I quickly return it and I even did a video um, you know so whoever is looking forward to buy executive tote will have a little reference um, so when I uh, and the reason by the way the reason I returned that executive tote it was because it was so super heavy this surf to tote on the other hand is super light okay it's still a full leather handbag as you can see yes it is discontinued they don't make those anymore and yes i always 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 wanted to have this tote in my collection and i just could not find the one that was at the right price and the right condition the condition was probably the most important to me because so many of them are just very exhausted very tired looking if you look at some of the fashion file they list them as a good or very good condition and usually those are pretty used up bags and that lose their kind of shape and they are slouching and you know it's a normal kind of thing that happens to the handbag of this statue because you know it's all leather and when you you know you just hold it like this the bag after a while starts slouching especially when it's used a lot so you guys i've got my surf tote and i'm so super happy it is not perfect and i'm gonna tell you what's not perfect what are the flaws of this particular bag um i have it for about a week by the way i haven't worn it yet today i think it's gonna be the first day so let me first tell you uh, where I purchased because you guys always ask me. Uh, you know I don't have any Chanel boutique near me. I don't really have a good relationship with essays. I usually call the boutiques or I call the stores like department stores if I want to buy something and if I'm lucky I'm lucky if not if not but most of the time I buy from secondary hands you know pre-owned. So a lot of my purchases I do on Facebook and there is um, a person called, I think her account is called Jasmine Nicole Closet and she is based in Oregon. She's basically like a mini fashion file, <laughs> you know, she has her own consignment store and she sells basically all um, brands, you know, a designer goods, authentic designer goods. And I purchased from her quite a few things in the past. So I knew her, you know, I knew, um, you know, the quality of the items that she sells. And I always have a good experience with her. She ships so quickly. So when she posted on her Facebook, usually she posted on the Facebook, um, this is called the Chanel Red Sea Group. Um, and she would post it there. She also have that Facebook 
page so you can go and check her out uh, the items that she has for sale but she sells everything Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, you name it everything is there um, so anyway when she posted this with the pictures and everything I just jumped on it because this handbag as you can see I'm putting my hands on it and it's pretty sturdy yes because it's it's an excellent excellent condition and that's what's difficult to find I would say Minus the two flaws that I'm going to talk about. This handbag is probably 8.5 out of 10. You know, that's how good it is. Uh, there's absolutely nowhere on the handbag. Even like if I look at the corners, it looks like whoever had it, they didn't use it much. I feel like this handbag was most of the time was basically stored in the closet. And uh, that's why it's still, you know, pretty stiff. It still have, you know, retained the shape pretty nicely. And uh, yeah, because like I said, there's no, there's not even wear on the corners, you guys. There's just absolutely nothing. Almost no scratches on the feet or, you know, on the little CC hardware here up front. I feel like this was such a great purchase. So, um, yeah, so the back has the feet. Obviously, it's a tote. And like I mentioned earlier, it's super light. It's super light. It does have a front pocket. So if you turn the CC lock and there's literally it's going to be like you can uh, maybe like put your cell phone in here. And that pocket is pretty big. It goes all the way. See this? It goes all the way down. So you can actually put quite a few things here inside. So it's very spacious pocket and obviously you can, you know, keep it locked. And then um, the main compartment of the bag is obviously all black hole. <laughs> there is some pockets inside. There's actually two zipper pockets. Uh, the one is on the back wall where it says, what it says here, Chanel made in Italy. So there's like a little tag in here. So let me just open up. And those pockets, by the way, they are pretty spacious too. So I can probably put my wallet in here. It did came with the authenticity card. It is um, a 13 series. I don't know exactly what age it is, but I assume it's from the 90s or early 2000s. I might be wrong. If you know, please let me, please leave a comment and let me know. Because um, I know it's been a few years since those, since those bags were produced. And the second pocket is actually on the opposite wall of the handbag. So there's another zipper pocket, pocket, which is exactly the same. It's pretty deep. Again, easily you can put a wallet in here. And of course, the entire bag closes up on this little um, magnet. <laughs> so, you know, there's no main zipper, obviously, but there is this magnet. So let's talk about the flaws. So the bag came with the authenticity card. And by the way, um, I always have it like authentic authenticized you know when I buy from someone there is a little you know sticker with the matching code and everything so the flows this bag originally came with it's like a removable removable pouch insert which normally you would put right in here inside if you guys can see there is a little snap like little um yeah, like a little, you know, something for it to snap it on here. And the same is on the side right here. And the pouch is missing, okay? And I know how the pouch looks like. I've seen those before. It's basically like, um, it has those two leather tabs where you can, you know, literally just snap it on the side. But the whole pouch is like a kind of a fa fabric material, like a nylon or something like that. It's very flimsy and I really honestly did not care about this pouch. Most likely I would never have this pouch inside anyway, just because it moves everywhere. You know, it's literally only attached on those both sides and it would just flop inside anyway. So I don't think I would ever use the pouch. So I was really not concerned about this anyway. The only thing that I was slightly concerned and slightly, you know, disappointed in a way, it was the fact that the strap is missing. So yes, as cute as this handbag is, it, it also originally came with a strap, which I don't have. Um, maybe that's why she was selling at a good price, you know, because those two things were basically missing. But again, the strap, the long strap is just something that I could just, you know, buy it from just a black strap from other stores if I really want the strap. And the straps are 
where is the little ring here the straps were originally like attached here so it's literally behind that little handle and I believe yeah, there is a second one right here. So there's tiny, I hope you guys can see, there's tiny, tiny little hooks in there that you can just attach the strap to. So the strap will go kind of on an angle. And to be honest with you, I never liked the look of this handbag with a strap. I think the strap kind of, I don't know, it, it just doesn't look good. You know, I would never wear this crossbody because it's obviously a bigger tote. Um, so just to put on the shoulder, I don't like the straps that kind of goes on the opposite sides, you know, of the back. If this was a strap that goes from both sides, I would probably cry a little bit more. But just the fact that this strap is kind of awkward anyway, I don't think I would ever use that strap, but I do realize that it's good to have it. If I ever come across the original strap that I could just buy a strap, I probably would. Um, but would I really use it? I don't know. So those are basically the two little things that are flaws, that are missing. So the removable pouch and the strap. And this handbag also comes with the gold hardware. I've seen it in the gold hardware. So obviously the strap would have a little gold ends. So for me, the odds of finding the strap with the silver little ends, you know, matching this tote, are probably zero. <laughs> You know, I do realize how difficult um, it would be to find. I don't even know if Chanel store, like if I could buy it from them since this bag is discontinued or would they make it one? I have no clue. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, I think I could get, um, there's the store, Muto store, I think it's called. And I could order from them, you know, a matching one inch. I know it was one inch strap, um, you know, with some kind of a small, uh, clasp you know at the end that could fit behind those little you know tabs in here so I don't know I'm not in a rush because I really love the look of this handbag just handheld or you know like on a crooked of your arm I just I just think it's so nice it's it's kind of you know it's timeless I feel like this bag is just so timeless and so classic and it's like if I remember years and years and years ago back, I've seen so many celebrities, you know, carrying this handbag and that bag came up with different, different, different colors. They even had like a little color tabs, you know, like different variations. Um, this is obviously the more like classic, you know, <laughs> classic uh, design. By the way, I forgot to mention, there's one more packet here. So there's plenty of packet, but this packet is open. So there's one up front and there's one in the back. So, um, yeah, but a lot of celebrities was carrying this handbag and I, I really like, I always love the look of it. And it's, it could be, you know, kind of business-like, but could be at the same time casual. And I'm more of the casual person. You know, I don't work in a business environment whatsoever. Um, so for me this handbag will be definitely like a casual but at the same time you know I can carry some stuff for work you know and I think it's just gonna be really really nice so I am super super excited about this handbag I cannot actually believe that I found it and uh yeah I am I am really ah I'm over the moon and I would like to know if you do have this handbag if you do still use it if you do enjoy uh please let me know I am, yes, I am, I am very excited about this. I don't know what kind of leather it is. It is appeared to be like a pebbled kind of leather, like kind of like a caviar. Um, but I would think it's more like, it's probably like a calf or something like that. But it has those little, you know, pebbles, like kind of like a caviar leather. But, oh my God, it's so, so, so nice. I also did a reserve, little research and a lot of people mentioned that this kind of handbag, similar, like if you own a Birkin, um, you know, that have a tendency of, you know, um, going a little bit more, you know, becoming a slouchy, you should actually store it this way. Um, it should be also, you know, like filled, let's say with the air paper or something like that. And you should always store it this way. Same with the Birkins. So this way they're not gonna slouch basically. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I might even buy um, an organizer, but again, the organizer will go strictly just to hold the shape, you know, when I store the bag because 
I don't know, sometimes I feel like the organizer can get uh, a little bulky and make the bag heavier, you know, than it is. And this bag itself, for being a full leather bag, obviously the lining is not leather, but you know, all the outside is leather. I think for this, you know, bag, it's still super, super light. Like I mentioned, the executive tote, and I'll try to find that video. I'll, I'll link it up there or in a description box. That executive tote, it was beautiful, but it was just so heavy. It was so heavy without anything in it that it just went so quickly back to fashion file. I just could not handle. And you know, the reason I purchased that executive tote because I could not find this. But this one is more, I think, simplistic look. The executive tote has all those pockets, you know, in the front and just a little bit different, you know. And this one is more, I, I believe this one is more simple. Um, it's more elegant and I am so, so, so happy that I have it. All right, guys, so this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, obviously don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. I, I like I mentioned in my other videos, I will be doing a lot of unboxings because I purchase a lot of things. So yes, things are still like coming. You know, I order a lot of things. Um, since I don't have boutiques anywhere, I have to basically shop online or through the phone so yeah but please let me know what do you think about my new chanel surf toad i am super excited to have this in my collection and if you do own this bag i really really would like to know because you know obviously for me it's a new bag so i'm gonna be happy and excited to use it and i feel like my toad collection is suddenly expanding so yes <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful day it's a beautiful weather today so i'm super <laughs> super happy i'll be definitely definitely taking this uh baby out with me today so yeah i hope you have a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye